In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some hints and tips that might help you create better screencasts. Now firstly, I'd say do your best to talk conversationally when you're creating the training. I do think this makes it a lot easier for the viewer to engage with what you're saying and follow you than if it sounded like you were reading off a sheet of paper. Now some people find it helps to write a little bit down and it might be a good idea to start off by writing the title of the training that you're going to make, note down learning outcomes and then for each individual screencast in your training to give it a title and then in, the, in this cover section if you just write down perhaps some key words to help you think about what you're going to say as you go through and you can refer back to that if you keep forgetting what you're saying. Secondly, it's best if you do keep the mouse cursor still unless you're actually pointing at something with it. It can be a bit distracting if the mouse cursor is moving around the screen but I find it quite hard not to do that because when you're talking you tend to be moving your hands about and you tend to be quite expressive and you can't really do that but moving the mouse about isn't going to help, it's just going to distract the viewer. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and re-record. If, you, if you're not exactly sure what you're going to say, just start and talk a bit and it might help you think about what you actually do want to say and then you can just stop it and re-record it. But remember, you're never going to get it 100% perfect and I don't think you have to do. I think it can um, be quite nice if you, if you are making mistakes and it, makes, it reminds the viewer that you, you're human. Also, chunk information. Don't try and do a, a big 10 minute section. 10 minute screencast. It's easier to use for the, the, the viewer if it is broken down a bit and it's also easy for you to update if you do make mistakes. Now you can use Camtasia Studio to edit your recording but sometimes I certainly, I certainly prefer just to do short 2-3 minute videos and then just redo them if I need to make a change, if something, something changes that I'm talking about or if I make a mistake. And finally, if you need any help or advice, please get in touch with me. My extension at Edgehill is 4139, and if you work at Edgehill or are a student, please contact me at my email address on the screen. It's beaumontp at edgehill.ac.uk.